turning your 16 by 9 aspect ratio horizontal videos into a vertical 9 by 16 video for shorts, reels, anything that is a vertical video is a lot simpler than you might think inside DaVinci. So whether you're working on a commercial project or maybe it's a YouTube video that you want to shrink down to be able to share on Instagram Reels, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. I'm here in the cut page just to show you for reference a 16 by 9 video. I can turn on this social media 9 by 16 aspect ratio so we can see everything that's going to fit in there. And as I move, I go out of frame. Don't know what the heck I'm doing here, but it looks like it might be a little hard. I'm going to show you an easy way that we can get around this. So what we're going to do is I'm going to duplicate this timeline. That way we don't affect our existing timeline. So I just did that by right clicking duplicate timeline. Now I'm going to change the timeline settings so that it will be at a nine by 16 ratio. So right clicking the new timeline we made, go to timelines, timeline settings, uncheck use project settings. And right here where it has our resolution, we're going to change that to 1080 and 1920. There, now if I double click it, we have a nine by 16 video. So if you're seeing the crop bars, there's a couple things we can do. One, we could obviously go into the inspector tab and zoom that in. But if you're working in a timeline that has multiple clips, that might not be that easy. So we can go back into our timeline settings where it says mismatched resolution. We can click that down and go to scale full frame with crop. And this is going to bring all the footage to the full size automatically for you so you don't have to go through and resize it. Now that we have it here, we can see that I still am going out of frame. And to fix that, super simple. Click the footage, make sure you're in inspector. Again, if you don't see it, click up here. And right here, it says smart reframe. We're gonna click that and it has object of interest. You can select a point or just do it automatically. For now, I'm just gonna set it to auto and click reframe. Now it's gonna go through and analyze the clip and look for different things to track. And what it's doing is tracking on what it believes is the best point of interest and keeping that within the center of the frame. So we're gonna let it run and see what it looks like. It's finished and keep in mind the longer the video that you have to analyze, the longer it's gonna take for that to happen. But let's see how it turns out. <laughs> as weird as it was, it followed me and it kept me right in the center of the frame this entire time. So you so. can kind of think of this as like center stage if you have an iPhone or even some of the Samsung phones have this feature but you can have it right here in DaVinci for any video that you've made and keep everything framed in the center. Again, if you're having some issues where it's not keeping it in frame, you can turn off the auto feature and go to point of reference and just drag this box to select the areas of the pixels that it's going to look for. And I usually like to set it on something that has some good contrast. So maybe something like your nose where it doesn't have a lot of movement and then you can hit reframe again and have it analyzed and see if that comes out with a better result for you. And that's how to turn your horizontal videos into vertical ones for social media easily and simply with inside DaVinci Resolve.